back in our area, what many had feared has happened again. A car crashing into an outdoor dining area. This time a car plowed into the makeshift space outside a restaurant in Brooklyn. The driver didn't wait around to answer questions, taking off instead. Eyewitnesses reported Jim Dolan live in Greenpoint with more. Jim. Dave, on a beautiful day like this, dining outside doesn't even seem like a COVID restriction. It's just a great idea. But we are learning as this odd summer wears on just how dangerous it is to move restaurants out into the street. Keep your eye on the top of the screen at that table right in the middle. The car just plows into the barrier of the Alula restaurant in Greenpoint and pushes customers aside. And the car just keeps going as people scramble to get up and out of the way. Barriers were flipped and plants thrown everywhere. One barrier destroyed altogether. Matt and Brianna White were right there. One instant, we're just having coffee, and then out of nowhere, we just feel a big push. We just get see thrown. It, didn't, hear it. didn't see anything, just snuck up behind us. Laudia Guerra works at Alula. I heard a loud crash, and I thought it was the construction, but I turned around and I saw a car had plowed into the dining area, and I was horrified. Again, after the collision, the car kept right on going, but at first, nobody was even paying attention to that. I was just in total shock. I couldn't talk. Um, I saw his face. It was an old man, older man. There was one customer who was hurt. Um, she just seemed really shaken up, and she said her, her ribs hurt, so I called an ambulance for her. Police came, but so far they don't know who was driving the car that slammed into the barriers. Brianna likes outdoor dining, but after this... It would be helpful if there were some concrete uh, barriers provided um, for these types of places. Yeah. Um, it's really nice to sit outside, especially because of COVID. Now those concrete barriers would have helped a little bit today. Again, one woman was hurt. Not seriously, she's going to be okay. And police don't have anyone in custody yet.